Hey guys, wanted to make a video about skimming on a reef tank. Uh, the big question is, is skimming necessary for a reef tank? The easy answer is no. The more complicated answer is, it depends on your setup and your maintenance schedule. Uh, the best answer is, in my opinion, Yes, a skimmer is valuable for a reef tank. Not necessary, but valuable. Uh, so I wanted to go through a few things associated with skimming here. First, let's talk about setup. So when we're talking about setup here, setup can really dictate how necessary a skimmer is for you or not. For instance, for myself, I run canister filters. I don't run sump, I don't run refugium, I run a canister filter. None of my tanks are drilled. Everything goes over the back. It's a completely closed system as far as waterfalls, as far as uh, surface breaks, things like that. Um, so the gas exchange, the oxygen being put into the tank is zero without a skimmer. If you have a sump, refugium, if your tank is drilled and you have that over the back flow, you get that oxygenation, that gas exchange, I do not. So I could either put in an air stone or I could create enough surface tension that it would create that air exchange, that gas exchange, both create additional problems for me. The best choice for me is a skimmer. Uh, that's not isolated to just a canister filter, but for me, that's what makes skimming necessity to get that oxygen in the water, get that gas exchange with the water. In addition, uh, skimming also creates a reduction in surface waste. So the top of the water you ever notice that skim on the top of your water a skimmer will help reduce that um, regardless whether you have a canister or a sump uh, a skimmer is going to help reduce that and that's going to increase your light penetration to your corals because that skim on the top of the water that live algae there that's going to absorb light that's going to reduce how much light gets to your coral so with that in mind, uh, let's talk a little bit about the maintenance portion. When it comes to the maintenance portion, regardless of your setup, a skimmer helps reduce maintenance. So what does a skimmer actually do? It removes organic material that will turn into nitrates and phosphates down the line and it's going to create issues that you have to deal with the best way to, of course to deal with nitrate and phosphate issues is water change by the time they become nitrates phosphates etc skimming's not going to help they're already too big of particulate for a skimmer to take it out skimmer takes out the stuff that causes that it's pre nitrate phosphate the only way to get rid of that is water change so when it comes to maintenance, if you don't have a skimmer, you're going to have to do more water changes than you would if you had a skimmer because you've got to get that organic material out of there. It also will create increased cleaning of your other filtration items. Um, if you are using biological media, mechanical media, you're going to have to keep that mechanical media clean. If you're using that to filter out stuff all the time, it's going to get dirty. It's going to get built up. It's going to release stuff back into the water if you don't keep it clean. Not saying that if you use it together that you still don't have to do that, but it does reduce the amount that you have to do that. You will see the difference in the algae buildup on your glass with a skimmer. That algae buildup is going to be less. With a, without a skimmer, unless you are really on top of your maintenance, it's going to be more. You're going to see that algae build up. It's going to have to do more scraping of your glass. Your other option, of course, is to do chemical 
filtration of your tank. Who wants to put chemicals in your tank? I don't. Chemicals in your tank does not sound good to me. Uh, when I can simply take care of the issues with a skimmer. If I can control my nitrates and everything before I get to have and use chemicals to get rid of them, if I can control it through a skimmer, that's what I'm going to do. So when you're planning your tank, although skimmer is not a requirement, it is a very great addition to your tank. I strongly recommend a skimmer. Um, you can get away without of it. Without it, you're going to have to have increased water changes. You have to be really on top of your maintenance and make sure that everything is uh, taken care of well. Not that you don't do that. Again, not that you don't do that with a skimmer, but it buys you some leave way. So the rest of the video, just showing a little bit more of the coral in my tank. If you want to learn more, if you want to see what I do for my canister setup, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and uh, get more content out there soon. Thanks.